the complete isolation between Israelis and Palestinians is a real problem. I was part of a generation that for a minute saw a real glimmer of hope of how things could be different. The generation that's growing up today lives in total isolation from each other. Palestinians and Israelis can live literally five, ten minutes away from each other and never meet each other. They really just don't know what the other side looks like, feels like, what they think. MEET stands for Middle East Education Through Technology. My name is Anat. I'm one of the founders of MEET and also on its executive board. So we wanted to break that isolation and bring together these excelling young leaders on both sides and give them both individual tools but also empower them as a whole group to have a common language and to create solutions in their communities. It's a three-year program where they study you know, anything from programming to how to do marketing and build strategic plans and they really work together. This program really gets it and they have it right because when they bring these students together they're not just discussing the conflict, right? They're almost glossing over that and just moving on to hacking and, and building something together. There's so many success stories in the program that it's hard to choose. An example of a project that students at Meet work on is a mobile application called Count Me In. Count Me In was a way for the 30 students in our year to stay connected after they graduated from Meet. As we started working on this application, we realized this could be something more. You connect with all your friends in larger social networks and it tips only at a certain point. So events will only take place once X amount of people say, count me in. Technology breaks physical boundaries and it can help really break misconception in ways that were never possible before. A lot of the students um, came in not really interested in working together but because we gave them a reason to work, collaborate with each other, they actually changed. It's very hard to build trust after so many years of war and conflict. So we've had stories of students whose parents refused to send them initially to the program. But when they saw what their kids could actually get from a program like Meet, it helped overcome a lot of their fears and lack of trust. The whole mechanism here is about wanting to come, not just for meeting the other side, but because of everything I can get from the program. I think Meet's ultimate goal is not the agreement that will be signed by the two sides, it's the day after.